Andre here, coming to you from the 2018 New York International Auto Show. And we have a small team here at the show, and we try to bring you as many new debuts as possible, but we still missed a few. Half of our team, Roman and Nathan, are actually in Utah, Moab, Utah, driving Jeeps. So I wanted to give you a walk around of the show for the top best cars from 2018 New York Auto Show. And I want to start here at the Nissan booth because the all new 2019 Nissan Altima on my list is really high as far as important debuts from the show. This is an all new car. It offers two engine options and all wheel drive is available on this. No more V6, the base 2.5 liter engine is there and a new two liter variable compression turbocharged engine is the uh, premium power plant with a lot of torque in the Altima. But this is gonna be a longer video because I wanna take you through the show, show you the New York Auto Show, and point out some of the cars that I think, and some trucks that are really, really interesting. I wanna head over to Hyundai next, so come, come along. Actually, there's several different pavilions and floors here, and um, I'm gonna focus on cars with the exception of one pickup truck um, in this video. So come over here to Hyundai, and we actually need to look at the stage over here. Hyundai actually unveiled not one, not two, but three new or updated vehicles. And here they are at the stage. We have an updated Hyundai Tucson, which is basically an update on the existing Tucson crossover. Has a new kind of headlight signature, some new style on this side. If you could see, it's an all-electric Hyundai Kona. So a Kona is a small entry-level crossover in the Hyundai's lineup now. And we have a full review of it. Roman actually went to Hawaii, to Kona, to review a regular version of the Hyundai Kona. But this is an all-electric version here, making its debut at the show. And up to 250 miles of range per charge, which is a great number when you consider a lot of other competitors are in the 100 to 150 mile range. 250 miles is up there with the Chevy Bolt EV electric vehicle. But I'm also very excited about this. 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's making its North American debut here at the show. And it comes in two versions. There is a five passenger and also a seven passenger versions of this car. It's basically an all new vehicle. It's a little bit larger, has a little bit larger dimension, a little bit more interior space. Of course, brand new styling to take Hyundai to the next level and several engine options, including a turbo diesel engine. That was a big surprise for me. 2.2 liter turbocharged engine with over, what, 320 pound feet of torque. And that's coming up um, pretty soon in a few months. So very, a lot of excitement here at the Hyundai booth and we didn't get a chance to do a thorough detailed video on this yet but we will uh, coming up when we get a chance to um, drive it for the first time. So come along here, let's keep moving. I wanted to show you the Demon because it's the Dodge Demon. Up to 840 horsepower on a Honda Octane fuel, racing fuel. And of course they have it sitting here on the turntable, which looks like a drag strip. And it's up in the air, launching. Look at it, look at it, look at it jump up. I guess you're so excited. Come along here to the uh, VW booth okay. yep, on this I'm side. VW surprised a lot of us. Well, first of all, they unveiled the uh, almost production ready five-seater version of the Atlas SUV, the Atlas Sport. Come over here. So let me just show you. So this is the regular Atlas, right? You've seen this. We reviewed it on the TFL car channel. Pretty great seven-passenger vehicle. Now they've unveiled a five-passenger vehicle of the Atlas. So it's a little bit smaller as far as dimensions are concerned. It's going to be produced in the Chattanooga uh, plant here in the United States. This is a cross sport and it's basically a production ready car 
which they'll be making within the next year and a half. So a lot of exciting news here. It's also a plug-in hybrid, but they really excuse us. But they really surprised us with the concept over here. This is the VW Atlas Ten Oak or Ten Oak. It, um, you could say it however way you want it, but it's a pickup truck concept based on the Atlas platform. It's very cool because it's got, I mean, it's a pickup truck. We haven't seen a pickup truck from VW in so many, many years. And this is a concept and they said they're not planning to build it. And everybody said, well, why not? This is a great thing. They stretched the wheelbase about 11 inches uh, from where the Atlas seven passenger SUV is and added a lot of cool features. Um, there's a roof rack um, in the bed that kind of pulls out. And we are showing, we showed it to you on a TFL truck channel. Yeah, there's a roof rack right there. And uh, the interior has a lot of concept, look and feel to it, a lot of nice touches. And I'm excited for this. I think they should build it. So um, you can go to TFL trucks channel and uh, take a look at the uh, Atlas 10 Oak concept video and comment there and say VW please build this truck. Check it out guys, Kia is back with an updated version of the K900. This is their range topping sedan for them and I was a little surprised when they announced the K900 debut here at the show because um, I'm, I'm looking at Kia as sort of a more affordable um, vehicles of um, kind of smaller size, more compact crossovers, and and some of the hatchbacks you see right there. And of course the Genesis brand is really hitting the luxury side, but nonetheless, I mean, there's a lot of value in the K900 sedan. You get all wheel drive, you get a ton of power, and now brand new style. So how can you go wrong with a car like this? And just take a look at the interior real quick. I hope you could see this. It's really well done. Different wood grains on the steering wheel and the center console. Really nice leather. It's really an affordable version of a executive style sedan. Just look in the back here. You got center armrest with all of your controls for infotainment, seat, comfort and sunshades it's a good option if you're looking for a executive level sedan and at a good a good value here we are at the Honda booth and I want to show you the car in the middle here come on this is the all-new Honda Insight you know the Insight name from before but just walk around this car and it's basically um, it looks familiar but well there are several versions of this car and it kind of looks like a cross between an Accord and a Civic. It has very familiar Honda styling. And I really like where Honda is going with their style. Uh, but really high efficiency car for this hybrid model. Over 50 MPG as far as fuel efficiency is concerned. And also a lot of utility because it's got a, it's got a big trunk. I don't know if this is open, but it's got a large trunk seating for five and this is a production car it's not a concept anymore um, there you go it's coming coming on sale soon very familiar car so it has a feeling of uh, the latest Honda technology and push button transmission and the latest infotainment system I really want to drive it because it's kind of sits between the Civic and the Accord as far as size and but it's still a very fuel efficient package. All right, let's keep moving. Check it out. This is a new Rimac electric hypercar. Look at it from the side. Just walk, walk around this way. Very sexy looking in person. Um, I think pictures and um, some video don't do it justice. If you see it in person, you can see all the proportions and it's not uh, overstated. It's a little bit conservative, but I think it's a very good looking car. And this is sort of the exotic section of the auto show. 
if we walk around this way on this side you will also see the Lamborghini Urus um, SUV and of course that's a great looking uh, crossover with incredible power incredible performance and also an incredible price tag not these are not cheap cars and look at this Manhattan Motor Cars is here and this is the LP774-4 Lamborghini in carbon fiber my goodness I could probably stand here and look at it for the next four hours Sharon Sport how can you uh, not stare at this car for a long time I don't know but I will never be able to afford these cars so let's keep moving now take a look at this concept from Genesis this is an electric car concept which is basically a 2 plus 2 or a coupe with a little bit of utility in the back it's still basically a concept but I think it's really good looking as far as the shape of it is concerned as far as the design so um, really cool things from Genesis also look over there the red car is a new G70 sedan which is competing in a hotly contested segment for Genesis it's going up against the BMW 3 Series of course the Audi A4 and a lot of others so Genesis is coming in in a big way I wanted to show you um, something over here because Land Rover, Range Rover and Jaguar are unveiling several cars here here's the SVR performance version of the F-Pace crossover SUV starting price of just under $80,000 and of course this is a full-on performance crossover F-Pace is already known for their on-road manners but now they're taking it to the next level with quad pipes and major power here's another pace this is the I-Pace and this is the Jaguar's brand new electric crossover this was is the EV 400 all-wheel drive model and I think it's a really sexy looking car not only is it is it electric but take a look inside it looks like a pretty regular Jaguar well it's taken a few steps above with really cool digital displays throughout three screens to control all the features and functions it's got decent amount of interior space take a look at the rear so the front seat is pushed all the way back still five-person vehicle and all electric so let's keep moving a little bit this way so there's a lot of excitement here at the Jaguar booth because they have a lot of new vehicles showing up performance models electric models of course Range Rover is over there as well here's the Lincoln Pavilion really quickly I wanted to show you the new aviator pre-production concept it's basically a preview but Lincoln says the aviator is going to be produced in 2019 we did a um, special video on it a full walk around so you will see that on our TFL car channel but let's that just take one look as it spins I think it's a really good great looking SUV and um, obviously it has a lot of interest a lot of people are here Infinity has unveiled several models and these are special premium edition limited limited cars of the QX60 QX80 and of course QX30 over there and this they're taking them to the high end with all the best leathers and best materials and a special look with special trim um, but I think the important part here is that Infinity is already a very very uh, well put together vehicle especially the QX80 right here and uh, when you add up a few 
more luxurious touches to it, you have a very special SUV. And we towed with this one, the 2018 model, on the iGauntlet recently, and it performed well. It's not, it wasn't the best towing truck out there because it's still a luxurious truck, um, but that engine is very strong, that 5.6 liter. I wanted to show you the M1 up there. I don't know if, can you see it? I really want to sit up there and just stare at it, but we have to move on. I want to show you some of the other best, best cars from the show. We have to go to Acura now because they unveiled two, or at least, well, one, one all new car and one special package. So this is the brand new 2019 Acura RDX A-Spec. So they're taking their RDX uh, mid-size crossover to the next level. I mean, style outside and inside. I really want to show you the inside of this car. High performance, the A-Spec model, of course, has special tuning for the suspension, special steering, tuning, and wheels and tires. But take a look at the center console and the steering wheel. They're introducing their new interior design philosophy with this RDX. It's got kind of a floating mid console with a digital screen up top, and I think it's well done. I think they're knocking it out of the park with this car. Still a lot of space in the rear. They also unveiled an A-spec version of their MDX uh, crossover, which is their, one of their best sellers. Actually, let's walk this way. And in this corner, there is Mercedes and Lexus. Uh, Mercedes, we did a special video on, on the TFL car channel with their all new uh, Mercedes AMG GT four-door um, coupe with 630 horsepower. Look over here, brand new AMG GT, oops, sorry about that, uh, 63S. This is a 4Matic all-wheel drive monster. 630 horsepower, 3.1 estimated 0 to 60, and 195 mile an hour top speed and a really badass car that's coming in 2019. They're also showing their updated C-Class, uh, Cabriolet and, and sedan. But here, you could see the all new Lexus UX. It's a brand new entry level model for Lexus. It has a very unique design feature in the rear. The tail light goes all the way across and it's basically a very small crossover, Zach. Um, stay on this side. Um, there's a lot of people shooting here at the show, so we're always trying to respect each other. Um, but it has a front-wheel drive um, configuration like this one, also an all-wheel drive hybrid coming. So if you want a more affordable Lexus in a smaller size, this is a vehicle that's coming very soon. Volvo is over here behind us. They're showing their V60 wagon. I used to have a Volvo wagon in uh, high school. Mine was a 740 GLE, non-turbo, I know. Should have had a turbo, but no money. But now Volvo is doing so many great cars and their styling has been elevated to the next level. Um, there's a XC40 up there and of course the V60. Check it out over there. That's the V60 uh, wagon. It's also sitting up there on the pedestal. Check it out, guys. Am I the only one who's excited about wagons? Well, just look at its shape. Just look at the shape of this car. Audi is here with the RS5 back let's not um, show that very detailed because we have a special video on the TFL car channel dedicated to that car I I think it's great 
I think the most significant car at the show is actually the 2019 Toyota RAV4. It's an all new crossover. It's the class leading seller. They sold over 400,000 units in 2017, including fleet sales. And they've completely redesigned the new RAV4. It's now slightly larger on the inside. There are special models. This is the HSC hybrid, which Toyota says is actually gonna be the highest performing hybrid as far as speed, but also have class leading fuel efficiency. Just take a look on the inside really quick. Completely redesigned interior with a floating screen in the center. I think every manufacturer is going the same direction as far as the screens on the dashboard, but it's gonna have two powertrains, a 2.5 liter, completely revised four cylinder to start with an eight speed automatic transmission. It's gonna have a hybrid model, which this is with a CVT transmission and all new styling. There's an adventure model and there's a car behind you. Um, let's look at it from the side really quick. There's our friend Nick Miles shooting for television right there. But I think this car is the most significant at the show because it's the biggest seller amongst some of the other cars I showed you. And it's a complete new direction in style. Just look at the wheel arches there. And that's just one pavilion of the New York Auto Show. There's more, but I'm out of time. So go back to tflcar.com and tfltruck.com for more news, views, and a lot more from the 2018 New York Auto Show. Thanks, guys.